beautiful people welcome to my channel my name is Christine thank you so much for tuning in today so in today's video I want us to go to Kamukunji I show you the shops that I entered in and for me I usually don't even like knowing which shop someone went because in Kamukunji they have they are so similar and they have almost the same things and the prices are not there's no shop that will have very low many prices than other shops so generally i will just tell you the building it's the building opposite the police station it is the building opposite the police station the new building and it's on the ground floor so the shops on the ground floor are the ones that sell utensils so you can go there and what i was going to get was utensils so let me show you the clip of because this is the next day actually uh so let me show you the clip of when i went to kamukunji and then we'll come back and show you what i got so tune in guys so we are back or rather it's the following day and i want to show you what i got and i love everything i got there's something i will tweak and maybe i'll show you in a future video but let me show you what i got so the first one and i've already opened it of course is this it came in a box and i've already even put a uh, tissues and it's this it's plasticky it's this plasticky sabiet or tissue holder and it has this wooden uh, top i liked the color i took the cream there's white there is black and this uh white white black and and cream and i love it it's really beautiful and yeah so I got this for 800 Kenya shillings. Excuse me. Online, I've seen them for 950. So if you can't go for 
to sorry so if you can't go to kamukundi really you can get it they range from like a thousand below so this one i got it for actually it was 700 it was not even 800 it was 800 but she was like ah, i'll just make it 700 so it's really nice you remove a tissue and that's really dope so this is the first thing i got so the second thing i got was a set of knife i think you've seen it but let me i think let me just show you how it looks and let me tell you guys i saw this and it's what i wanted but the knives were red in color but you know what i'll do i have an idea so the idea i had was to just come and remove the red color with maybe acetone and all that but i tried it didn't i feel like that's the non-stick that they use on the on the non-stick pots so the knives what i'll do i will spray paint them black but because we use the the knives uh we clean with water i know the spray paint will not last so i'll sp i'll spray paint with black spray paint that i usually have and then i'll dip them in resin only on the red part i'll show you right now so i loved this guys i went to almost every shop i, I didn't show that but i went to almost every shop I told that girl let me go and check if I get this with the wooden thingy I will go by there if I get it in another shop I'll buy there if the knives are maybe black or white I will buy there but if I don't get then I'll come and buy so this came with a set of one two three four five five six five I think it's just five um, knives and the knives are here guys i will show them here i will not remove all the knives so this is the what is it called the um, the scissors for the kitchen and we got the knives think I, yeah and these are the knives oh sorry guys i think i'm sorry okay i hope i'm on so these are the knives and the knives are really good quality so because i tried actually this an a knife i tried to remove this one is like the non-stick that they put on the on the sufurias so what i've decided to do is that i will i will spray paint it black because really i don't want the red in my kitchen so i'll spray paint it black then i will buy resin and dip it up to here just up to the red part because it will be black now i'll dip in the resin i'm coming baby okay guys so what i was saying i have the black spray paint the only thing that i don't have is the resin so the resin will hold it in a way that it's like it's like glazing that even if you wash with water the paint will never scratch I will show you guys i think that idea will work you see i've even started scratching it but ha you can't like scratch everything and i don't want to stress myself so i'm thinking i don't know where this uh, maybe it's here. so i'm thinking this one with this one's painted black to match this and of course my kitchen will have a lot of lots of black and you can see even the background guys i love black so the last thing that i got and this one i didn't mention was that 500 and they they told me that they cannot like i can't negotiate but i was okay buying it so the last thing i got was this oh my god they're so heavy guys they're these sufurias yes guys so the reason why i got i don't know why i don't have to keep holding them Oh my god so the these are the tops of the sufurias and i'll show you of course i've not fixed anything i decided to show you first before i put them and this is the lids that this is how they look actually i don't know if you can see let me just open for you guys 
to that if you're interested and actually i don't know but i usually don't go for recommendations some some things i just buy and check them for myself so these are the mini and i wanted black black um black or white so they were very cute white ones and i was so tempted to pick them but i was like i cook so much with turmeric and i didn't i did what i did not want to stain them even this ones the white part i think they will stain because of the turmeric but these souffleurs are nice they are not as heavy as i thought they would be but they're not light you get it so these are the souffleurs and this is how they look i hope i'm on frame this is how they look and yeah so the brand is lucky rain lucky rain and i love them so let me show you the sizes because maybe you, one of you might be interested to see the sizing and guys i'm going to come kunji back because there's a few things i want to get but for me priority was to get the things that i've gotten the next size is this and anyway they're, they're not written in there they're no liters so you can see this is a small this one and then oh my god this is the next size i feel like their sizing is a bit big though this is the next size guys can you see it's really big like are you kidding me this is really really big oh my god they're falling i will will pick them up the next one is this one and this is a pan this is a pan guys i want a pan there is a time i bought pans for us 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 i bought pans like three wholesale were going for a thousand bucks it was a, a deep pan a flat pan and a small pan and right now they don't look good so I think that shop that was selling at our wholesale like price closed so um, I, would, I would show you that shop because that lady used to sell things very well and now the issue was you can't just go and buy one and get it at a thousand she was a dealer that used to sell to supermarkets for them to sell so um if it's one she would sell very expensive wow guys now <laughs> i'm even really confused <laughs> this is huge like i feel like if you buy these couriers you don't have issue with the big size with the big size you don't have issue with the small sizes i feel like they're only two but i would go back and buy maybe another non-stick or two that are deep for maybe your rice and all that <laughs> so i didn't show you this one all of them came with an ando uh -huh. okay yeah all of them so this one i need to screw it in let me show you guys so this is how it should look like okay this is how it, sh it should look like i love everything i wish it didn't have the white dots but i i really don't mind it's a very nice one and i can't wait to start using them and not have to scrub the heck out of them so that they can shine so so guys uh, thank you so much for tuning in today i hope uh you got inspired to go step by step if you've realized um i keep improving my home different rooms i don't stick to one the only one i stuck to and finished was my kids because of course 
those are my priorities and I wanted them to just feel comfortable and be happy so I hope uh, you go get yourselves uh, these sufurias or this butcher block well, knife digging what is it called knife holder it's nice and yes guys tell me what you think about these and if you want more of this and we will I'll bring them to you guys thank you so much for tuning in today please share my videos with your friends so that we can grow and grow and grow and grow thank you bye bye